you are looking at the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. On this Temple Mount, two Jewish temples have stood. The first temple was built by King Solomon and was destroyed in 586 BC by Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians. The second temple was built under the leadership of Zerubbabel in 516 BC. It was this second temple that Jesus visited. Today the Dome of the Rock, a Muslim mosque, sits atop the Temple Mount. Muslims believe that Muhammad rode to heaven on a horse from this site. The Dome of the Rock sits on top of the foundation stone of the Temple building. Many Bible scholars believe that the rock inside is where Abraham offered Isaac. It is also on this rock that the Ark of the Covenant set. It is ironic that today Muslims worship Allah on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Here is a scale model of the Second Temple. The royal porch is seen on the left, the Second Temple building in the center, and on the right is the Fortress of Antonia. Here the Roman soldiers could keep a watch on what was going on in the temple. The court surrounding the temple building is the court of the Gentiles. This is where Jesus drove out the money changers. Here's a picture of the Eastern Gate. The temple building itself was made of white marble and had gold horns on top and bronze doors. It was said that you could not look at the temple in the daylight as it would blind you. Only the priests could work in the temple building. Once a year the high priest would go into the Holy of Holies with a sacrifice on the Day of Atonement. When Christ died on the cross, the veil that separated the holy place from the Holy of Holies was torn in two from the top to the bottom. Christ had made a way into the presence of God. Here is another picture of the temple with the fortress of Antonia in the back. Here is a sketch drawing of what Herod's second temple looked like. You see Wilson's arch in the middle and Robinson's arch in the front. On the right hand side you see the steps on the southern side of the temple. Archaeologists have discovered Wilson's arch. Underneath Wilson's arch you find Torah boxes containing scrolls of the Torah. The Torah refers to the first five books of the law that was written in Hebrew. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Here is evidence of Robinson's Arch. This is a picture of the first century street under Robinson's Arch. Just think, Jesus himself may have walked on this street when he went to the temple. Archaeologists have done some work under Robinson's Arch here. Here are some stones from the western wall. The western wall is a retaining wall. The Temple Mount is located on top. Each of these stones is huge and weighs several tons each. This is a picture of a mikvah. What is a mikvah? It is a place that the Jews went to for a ceremonial cleansing before they went up to the temple to worship. This is a picture of the southwest corner of the Temple Mount. Josephus said that a man felt dizzy standing at the top and looking down. Here are the southern steps to the temple. Jews would climb these steps to enter into the temple. This is the triple gate to the Temple Mount. Here the Jews would enter the Temple Mount. They would exchange their coins and buy their sacrifices and they would take them then to the priests. In AD 70, during the Jewish-Roman War, General Titus and the Romans burned the Second Temple. Thousands of Jews were killed and crucified. The fire was so intense that it caused the gold of the building to melt. The Roman soldiers pried apart the stones to get to the gold, and they threw them over on the street below. This fulfilled Jesus' prophecy, which he gave to the disciples on the Mount of Olives. Matthew 24 verses 1 and 2 says, Jesus came out from the temple 
and was going away when his disciples came up to him and pointed out the temple buildings. And he said to them, Do you not see all these things? Truly I say to you, not one stone here will be left upon another, which will not be torn down. Here is a picture of the Arch of Titus in Rome. The Arch of Titus honors the general who conquered Jerusalem in the Jewish-Roman War. On the Arch of Titus is a picture of Roman soldiers carrying away the golden lampstand. The golden lampstand provided light for the priests who worked in the temple building. Since AD 70, the Jews have been without a temple. Today, Jews come to the Western Wall to pray. The Jews pray for the coming of Messiah. They pray for peace. They pray for a second temple. They do not know that their Messiah, Jesus, has come for them the first time. You see, Jesus came the first time to die on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins. He will come a second time to establish a kingdom of peace for the world and for the Jews. On the Sabbath, Jews come to worship at the Western Wall. The Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 10.1, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. In the same chapter, Paul explains how Jews and Gentiles can be saved through believing in Jesus Christ. He wrote, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved.